When on Friday we saw a handcuffed soldier accused of murder after he killed a terrorist, the difficult feelings we had as a family after the killing of my father of blessed memory rose up again in a very extreme manner. We as a family chose not to fight for criminal proceedings against the soldier who accidentally killed my father, despite the very, very heavy price we paid in this matter. And even though this is a dilemma that accompanies our family to this day, a very difficult dilemma that breaks us down many times, suddenly to come and see that when a Jew from Har Hebron is killed by an IDF soldier, the senior echelon knew that because it was a time of war, or we don't weaken combat soldiers, so we should not in any way start criminal proceedings against the soldier, but to see that in contrast, in order to look good for the whole world, when a soldier killed a terrorist, and it doesn't matter if he made a command mistake or not, to take him handcuffed and to accuse him of something as serious as murder is just unbearable for us. It seems that someone in our leadership kind of lost their morals. When a Jew was killed like this, it was very convenient to stay silent because we love the leadership and love the IDF, but when a similar incident happens to a terrorist and they need to excuse it for the world, then suddenly everyone can come out with vocal condemnations and accusations of murder. This is very serious. This is a very serious leadership failure here that someone needs to be held accountable for. It's just unbearable anymore. A lot of responses arrived to my Facebook post, which I didn't even anticipate. People really identified with our pain and feel it. They understand the great difficulty in how we passed so many years with this very difficult dilemma. If we want someone to pay for it, how much and when and what is the price of that? On behalf of my family, I really am thankful for all the supportive comments, but it isn't enough for us because someone up high needs to give an accounting for the moral injustice committed here. They have to give an accounting and we won't be silent until we see it happen completely. I think they still haven't really checked what happened there. None of us currently can truly know and judge what happened there, certainly not based on responses given within mere minutes of the event from the entire political echelon of the state. Things hadn't yet been checked or clarified. No one wants anarchy here, and there isn't any anarchy. But it's also the case that Jews are murdered every day, every day. Try to place the emphasis there. When there are headlines everywhere in the press, first of all, let them be on the truly serious things we experience every day here. Here, I really leave it to a command investigation within the army, which didn't need to go out into the public.